Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christian Kovac, and I would like to introduce my uh, ongoing projects. I work at the Department of Orthopedics at Semmelweis University. My supervisor is uh, Gerd Kocsis, and uh, my vision or my plan is to better understand the bone and the implant behavior. Uh, and uh, as an orthopedic team, we are providing cutting edge orthopedic savers uh, based on evidence based medicine. I have two ongoing projects. The first one is dealing with the young models, and the second is uh, uh, comparing the efficacy of, uh, of the lockdown uh, surgical technique. So my first project uh, is dealing with the young models, as I mentioned before. The young models is the elast uh, elasticity of bone, and in order to achieve better implant fitting, uh, we need uh, uh, the finite element analysis. However, this requires very precise young models results. Uh, however, in the literature, these results are controversial sometimes. There are several methods to measure them, like, like uh, compressional techniques, non-indentational techniques, uh, ultrasound technique, and, uh, and also the other macromanical testings. But as you can see in the literature, that even in the same region, for example, the, the diaphysis of the femur or the neck of the femur, we have a very uh, different uh, two order of magnitude differences sometimes. And it's not good for us if we want to make precise uh, finite element uh, results. So my aim is to categorize the different factors and uh, compare them. Uh, and uh, our hypothesis that the size, gender, age, and methodology may make these uh, differences. So what we were looking for, uh, we were looking for uh, articles uh, that uh, contained uh, young modulus results from healthy uh, human bones only with no bone disease and only uh, uh, English written articles. For the first time, we had more than 20,000 uh, uh, records, uh, and we were able to, to uh, uh, decrease their number to a final of more than 100 articles, from which we made the data extraction uh, with this search key, and we made this uh, search in, from these uh, databases. So the first part that we had uh, individual and and multiple uh, results uh, of E values. But in, this, uh, uh, in my project, I'm now showing only the individual uh, young modulus results from these articles. There was uh, more than or close to 50 articles that we could uh, include in it. And what you can see that uh, the young modulus uh, results were showing two big groups and these are due to the cancellous and the cortical bone uh, uh, macrostructure differences. Also, we were using a forest methodology to see that uh, the weight uh, of the influencing factors, and you can see that the macrostructure metal and the region of the bone were the most uh, influencing factors next to the bone uh, itself, I mean that which bone was that, and its size. Uh, you can see that we were also uh, uh, checking the age, sex, condition, and size, and the differences are shown uh, on the table. And we were uh, looking more deeply uh, when we were checking the, the diaphysis of the femur with the cortical uh, young modulus results, and we could see that the nano indentational techniques always had higher uh, young modulus results. Uh, uh, compared to a bending technique, for example. Uh, in the next uh, slide, you can see that the cortical and the cancellous bone uh, uh, measurements in case of the direction of, uh, of, uh, of the loading. So now we are looking at the anisotropy. And what we see that uh, the axially loaded, so the axial uh, 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 young modulus results are always much higher than the laterally or the AP loaded uh, 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 specimens. We have the same 
uh, results here with the anisotropy that we can see the difference uh, between the AAP and the axial loaded uh, uh, young modulus, uh, I mean specimens and their results. And you can see that uh, there are uh, quite big differences between the two uh, uh, loading. What you can see that, uh, that uh, in the same bone, like in the femur, the metaphysis and the epiphysis has uh, different young modulus, and also that uh, the knee, the tibial epiphysis and the femoral epiphysis uh, has almost two or almost three times difference in young models. Why were these uh, uh, results important? Because uh, with this we showed that uh, the influencing factors impact. Uh, we had a lot, I mean, it's really a lot of articles and, uh, and it's a very precise data collection. And there are also limitations. There were a very uh, heterogeneous data structures, uh, low number of the subgroups, um, and there were uh, the difference in uh, sample preparations as well. Uh, the conclusion that we were able to show the impact weight of these uh, different uh, uh, variables, uh, the difference between macrostructure and in, in, uh, anisotropy, and also uh, in the uh, joint forming bones and uh, within the uh, same bone uh, regions, the differences. Uh, in the practice, we could use and uh, make more precise uh, finite element models, and it can be used in new implant design and custom-made implants as well, and it could be used in the f uh, further research uh, in, the, in the elastic modulus uh, standardizement, because we need to make more standardized uh, uh, researches. My project uh, has been submitted already to uh, a big journal, uh, however it was refused, uh, but we sent to another one uh, and we are hoping that uh, they, they will like it, so cross-fingered right now. Uh, the second project is uh, dealing with the lockdown technique in the chronic acromial clavicular instability. This is the most common injury of the shoulder girdle. Uh, it occurs during high energy contact uh, and uh, it has more than 100 techniques. And our aim is to measure the efficacy of this technique because we believe that this is more superior to other surgical techniques. Uh, we make a systematic review from it, uh, this project and also a retrospective part as well. Uh, and in the, the clinical implication will be the improved uh, uh, surgical treatment uh, in this uh, condition. So the systematic search uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, at, the, at, uh, at the, the data uh, uh, extraction part, while the retrospective and, uh, part is at the middle uh, we have right now uh, 42 patients that we found and they, they can be used uh, in this project and our plan is to finish it at the end of this year. So the, the submission was done uh, in the first uh, uh, project and the second will be done in, in the first part of the next year. Thank you very much for your attention and I think we have already started to carry away that mountain. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christian. I have a question just regarding the young modulus. That have you checked, or there is some, some information in the literature which is comparing the, the young modulus, because you said that it's, it's different in different locations. So the, the value of the young, young modulus and the level of the injuries at the, at the bone, for example, in a fracture. So, it's what, so if there's a, some uh, correlation between the young modulus and the, and the trauma and the type of fracture. Mm -hmm. Thank you very, very much for your question. Uh, the uh, thing is that this is very hard to answer because in the literature, this question is always avoided. I mean, the answer for this question is always avoided because there isn't a, a precise uh, value in, in where it would uh, fracture or not. So uh, 
I can tell you that in the femur, uh, for example, at a 28-year-old uh, boy, uh, man, uh, when uh, would have the, the fracture. So I'm not able to tell you from the literature. Uh, uh, what we wanted with this project is, that, uh, is to at least uh, try to uh, try to get a, a better uh, uh, value, range of value that vary could be. Uh, right now I can't tell you this, uh, but in the, in the table uh, we, had, we made, uh, there, uh, there were a range where, uh, where the, the young modulus uh, uh, were for, for, uh, for the most common bones. There were 11 bones that we could extract, uh, data extract, and the three most common bones were the, the femur, the tibia, and the humerus. So these are the three bones that we have the most uh, information about. Uh, Christian, you mentioned that uh, uh, the different, uh, maybe in the future, uh, these results would be have an, an impact for the newer design of the yes. prosthesis. Uh, there are existing data that uh, the performance of uh, prothesis differs in uh, different bones with different young modules. Mm. Is there any data? No, I haven't found it yet. Uh, and uh, our plan wasn't to, to look for this question. So this question could be our next topic. Uh, but, uh, but one thing is, is sure. That these uh, that these uh, finite element uh, analyses, they are making models, and uh, and the problem with this uh, or with that, that they are uh, based on CT uh, uh, imaging techniques. However, the CT imaging techniques may creates a voxel, and these voxels are are uh, homo homo homogenic uh, uh, cubes. Uh, virtual cubes. However, as I uh, showed you before, uh, these, are, uh, these, uh, these uh, cubes does not uh, or do not uh, uh, work with the anisotropy. And for example, in the, in the femur when we put in the, 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 the stem, uh, not only the, the, the axial compression, but there is also uh, a, uh, a side to the wall uh, compression as well. And this is not uh, calculated with the finite element model. And I th we believe that this is a problem. And this is what we would like to later on uh, 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 help somehow. Okay, thank you. Congratulations, uh, Christian. Uh, I just uh, wanted to ask you that um, uh, you said that these young modules could be used for the finite um, element analysis, and, and do you think that in the clinic, uh, clinical practice uh, you would be able to, to do that uh, preoperatively for the patients? Yes, uh, it, it is, uh, I could say the same, uh, I could tell you the same answer as I did to the doc, uh, Professor Sandry. Uh, so, uh, with the, the help of the anisotropy and with the with the knowledge that uh, that that, the, that there is a difference between the epiphysis and the metaphysis, uh, these uh, finite element uh, models must include these informations to have better uh, modelings, and we could see better implant behaviour as well. Thank you very much.